to Keeping It Real, and this is Mr. Riggs. Um, today's topic will be about uh, people supporting Barack Obama just because you know he's a man of color instead of supporting him because he's a Democrat and that's what they believe in, and they believe in what he believes in. For instance, um, how can you support as a whole Barack Obama just because he's black and we can't even support black businesses. Come on, people. I mean, think about it. Also, I see it all the time, especially, you know, where I work. Uh, for instance, I had a parent that stated that they were going to vote for Barack Obama. You know, they were excited. Oh, he's a man of color. It's about time. We need a black president. You know, for all the wrong reasons, I'm like, okay, but you don't support your own child with, you know, teachers, student conferences, I ne we never see you, you know, and, and this particular parent is not the only parent that does that, it's all across the board, and it's not just, you know, African American parents, they're uh, parents of all color, uh, neglect, you know, a lot of times their children and the activities that their children do in school, and, and this one t parent though I was like but you're never here you know I can call you 15 times in a week because your child is misbehaving or your child did very good in this it's always not negative but um, the parent you know rarely would call back but there's you know an African American who or oh, I'm sorry there's a man of color who's running for president of the United States and you can just jump on the bandwagon you know that's very upsetting what does that say about you know our people in a whole what about you know supporting your child um, what about supporting you know different types of businesses whether it be Indian Mexican restaurants or you know black owned businesses my thing is you running you're running out here and not just this one parent there's a lot of people just jumping on the bandwagon just because he's a man of color it's about time but that's not the change he's talking about that's a misconception he's talking about change in politics and the way Washington is ran he's not talking about change as in it's time for a different you know skin colored person to be in in the White House that's you know that's a total misconception and just sitting here and African Americans just jumping on the bandwagon oh he's you know he's a he's a black man and he's gonna be president he's gonna change that doesn't that doesn't mean anything you don't know what he's gonna do that's just like you should vote you know vote Democrat or vote Republican don't vote just because of the person's skin color you know know what they're about know what they they voted for in the past and and what they've tried to knock down what type of laws you know they're trying to pass how they want to run the economy you know things like social security things like um, you know insurance just don't vote for people just because of their skin color that's just ignorant and you know how that is you know we've been called ignorant quite a few times before that that you know that's an everyday thing but we need to band together and say hey let's see the real reason why we're choosing you know to to vote or to vote against this person you know don't do it just because of their skin color and this goes for everyone this doesn't just go for African Americans you know just don't jump on the bandwagon you know go behind the scenes do some research and vote for the right person not just because of their skin color and that's all I have to say on that. All right, thank you.